Well, hey everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 1025. If you've taken to social media lately, maybe you've seen this trend of people who are documenting their days. I think right now we're at something like day 39 in the midst of the COVID quarantine, in the midst of the, the stay at home orders. And so people, in order to remember this, are just each day documenting something that they've done, something that they found meaning and value in. And it makes me think of the words from Psalm 90. Psalm 90 is written by Moses. I know we, we don't typically think of Moses as writing the Psalms, but apparently this is one of the Psalms that, that Moses writes. And he says these words in verse 12. Teach us to number our days aright, that we might gain a heart of wisdom. And think right now, that's what we need to remember. Because it's so easy for one day to bleed into the next and to get to the end of it and think, what did I do? What did I accomplish? Did I make the best use of the time that God gave me today? Now, here's what's interesting. Moses writes these words of Psalm 90 at the end of his life. At the end of a period of time where it's not 39 days of quarantine, it's 39 years of wandering around in the wilderness. And can you imagine how difficult that would be? I mean, some of us already, we're beginning to go stir crazy. And yet, here's Moses at the end of 39 years where it's so easy for one day to bleed into the next and, and to fail to find value and meaning and significance in each day. And he says, oh, Lord, teach us. Teach us to number our days aright that we might gain a heart of wisdom. And then he says this in verse 14. He says, Lord, satisfy us with your loving kindness that we may rejoice and be glad all of our days. Isn't that what we need to hear right now? Isn't that what we need to be praying right now? Lord, satisfy us with your loving kindness. Help me to rejoice and to find gladness in today. You know, as a church, we ha also have a habit of documenting our days. We're coming out of the season of Lent, which is a period of 40 days. We're now in the season of Easter, which also is a period of 40 days. And so here's my invitation to you. I don't know whether you've made a habit of documenting your days or not, but I'd invite you to consider beginning that. In fact, right now below, why don't you just drop a comment? Post something that you've done in the last day that you found meaning or value in. And then simply pray that prayer. Lord, teach us to number our days aright that we might gain a heart of wisdom. And I'll see you again next time.